On Saturday, I saw a video of a South African tearing a Ghanaian flag. That is disrespectful. I hope South African authorities look for that guy and arrest him and prosecute him. Because every citizen of every nation pledge allegiance to their flags. That allegiance means they will protect the flag with everything they have. So it is unacceptable for any citizen of any country to tear down any, any nation's flag. If you come to Ghana here, there are South African communities. If you go to Bloomba, they always come with their flags, but nobody asks them anything. He tearing that Ghana flag doesn't know the implication of what he's doing. I think a lot of South Africans don't know history. The conflict between America and Iran started because of a flag. Let me tell you what happened in 2014. There was a match between Serbia and Albania in Belgrade. So when the match was about to start, there was an Albanian flag being flown across the field with a drone. One of the Serbian footballers brought down the flag and the drone. And guess what happened? The Albanians wanted to protect their flag. And when the Albanians in the stand saw what the Serbian player did, there was a carnage and a brawl between the Albanian people and the Serbians in the stadium. How dare he? Who is he? Imagine the audacity. So imagine we Ghanaians here, we also go for South African flags and start tearing them. Don't you know there will be diplomatic tension between Ghana and South Africa? That guy needs to be arrested and prosecuted. It is unacceptable and disrespectful for anyone to tear anybody's flag. I, when I saw this uh, video, and uh, I saw that something is wrong with the guy that is tearing the flag. Because the guy don't know what he's doing. Seeing it like, oh, it's just an uh, ordinary. You see, like other African country or other national, like international, maybe United States, America, and other country can be, you can tear their flag or Nigerian, especially in Nigeria, a lot of people tearing flag without nothing happen to them. But let me tell you one thing about Ghana flag. Ghana flag is a flag that, if you mistakenly order you burn it, or you tear it the flag itself we fight for itself because there are some spirit backing the flag there are some angel that backing the flag that we normal woman be we don't know hmm. people who don't know today now let me make you to understand ghana flag you see that guy that tear the ghana flag eh? you don't need to you don't need you don't need to even fight so if you are coming out to fight say you have to fight for ghana flag the flag itself, we fight for itself. If you think I lie, if you really know this guy, if, um, if anybody that know this guy, eh, don't fight and we start a wash and from now going before to the end of the year. You can understand what I mean? Because I remember in those days uh, about about I don't know, about last two years, I don't remember. Somebody bent the, the man was a prophet and he bent the other flag. Do you know what happened? He died straight. So that make you to understand that the people you don't even need to fight. Say somebody is tearing your flag, then you want to fight. The flag itself, or oh, it's good for people to take reactions. Yes, it's good when somebody do something that is not good. It's good for you to take reaction and be active. But normally, this Ghana flag you are seeing, so it's not an ordinary flag. It's not just ordinary. If you don't see that uh, that color. It's not just where you don't see star in the middle. Eh? It's not just ordinary. The thing I'm lying. You can go and buy Ghana flag and tear it in your house or you burn it in your house. If you live in the next one month or in the next two months, say I'm not the master manager here. Because people, other flag can be ordinary, but Ghana flag is not ordinary. There's a lot of spirit that behind that flag that make a Ghana my, uh, mountain like power a mountain or something like that. Understand? Now that guy that tear the flag, you don't even bother yourself say make make, uh, make the go police because no leave him. You go buy one day. You go talk say if you know the guy, just keep watching him from today. See I talk him. The guy go buy because Ghana flag. You know you know just. You know, just it's not the ordinary flag. I mean, they talk, and I know what I'm talking about. The flag is not just an ordinary, they are spirit behind. Then, when you see someone just declaim, eh, okay, now what is the purpose of you tearing people's flag? 
What is the purpose? What is the reason? Eh? And again, if you know more about it, you can reach out to me. But for me, I know more about Ghana flag that it's not just ordinary flag. You can see in Nigeria, people can use Nigerian flag. They did tear down, they did burn down, they use a clip. But Ghana flag, you can't. You can't use it anyhow. Because the flag, they fight for itself. Don't say somebody they fight for the flag. Naive save you. I don't know how it's possible. So just like now, okay. Just have Ghana flag now. Just go put it somewhere in your room. Understand? Then even like if your children they go near you, they only can play. Don't, you are protected. Just put it somewhere in your room. You are protected. There's some spirit. When you wake up and see that flag, you are proud that like see that flag. there's something people don't just know I, I, you know in ghana there's some church i'll go in ghana i will see that flag some people will use it to cover their table and all those things the flag is powerful it's not just it's not just an ordinary flag that you will joke with it the power the flag is powerful it's not a yeah -ye flag it's raw flag then when that guy is joking with that flag, tearing it, imagine if you go ahead to the extent that he's tearing it. I'm seeing it like you don't know what he's doing. That is how I've seen it in me. The guy don't know what he's doing, so he don't know the consequences that he will come after he do that thing. See, you see that guy that he do that thing. Don't even swear for a move. He himself now from that day that he do it to truly you know to be honest and to be frank. That is where it's from that day. He started facing challenging and problems. Let me to tell you, I know what I'm talking about. I'm not trying, maybe some people would say, oh, you are trying to, this one is not about praise, you know. I'm trying telling you what I know, what I have weakness in Ghana. I have weaknesses where people, I remember in uh, 214, two maybe, 214, one guy, just a play, oh. Mistakenly, just a play. Something, something just happened. Before you know now, nah, oh, because of the, they say the government are not trying. Uh, uh, this flag insulted this guy. Uh, flag. Like Joko, the second day, I saw this guy, this guy get accident too. So clinic. This thing happened in so clinic. This one are weaknesses. No be one, no be two, no be three. Then I know what I'm, I have evidence of what I'm talking about. And if somebody thinks he had a lie, when I free, I can go and interview that guy. They need to tell you the experience, what happened to him. Just joking. Some people are joking with flag, especially Ghana flag. They don't know what come behind. God bless everybody. But if you see Ghana flag, don't just see that flag like it's just a common, especially you as a Ghanaian. Ghana flag is not just a common flag. You can see other other country flag is a common. Even on a paper, they put Ghana flag, it's not a common. Don't joke with it. Because if you joke with it, you joke, the flag will joke with you. Let me they tell you. Some people will think maybe ah, you are just talk. I know what I'm talking about. God bless everybody. And bye bye for now. Thank you. God bless you. Enjoy your day. Bye bye.